Now let's talk about a thin spherical shell under internal pressure. Now the difference of a thin spherical shell, you know, in comparison to the thin cylinder is that in this we avoid or we ignore the radial stress. The radial stresses are ignored in this. So the only stress you are going to have is the longitudinal stress or I would say the stress which is resisting this. It's not actually uh, in the direction of length because there is no length for a sphere okay but the radial direction is uh, not there. So radial direction if you look at this this is the uh, direction in, of the radius but your stress is like this that is perpendicular to the plane of this board that is how your stress will act and this stress is taken to be zero so in a spherical shell the hoop stress is zero this means that sigma over here would be pd by 4t as simple as that which is almost same as the longitudinal stress for cylinder longitudinal stress for a cylindrical shell and this has to be thin okay so I hope you understood this this is the only thing you need to understand and remember in this now let's move on to the next video and talk about the volumetric strain on capacity of a cylindrical shell